Okay, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about the battery, the light bulb. This is, this is one of my most popular videos, so I figure I, I better keep doing it, right? Uh, so how do you light a battery? How do you light a light bulb with a battery and a wire? Okay, so the first thing to understand is how a light bulb works. So let's look at a little bit bigger one. Check this one out. Okay, let's see if I can if you can see the wire in there. It's kind of hard to see. It's in there though. Okay, so there's a filament in here that runs up. That is the part that glows. Basically, it's just a wire and it gets really hot. That's how it works. So how do you can and the glass is there to keep air out so it doesn't burn. So in this, and this is an incandescent light. So this filament post right here, there's a metal wire that holds up the filament. And that wire comes down here and it connects to the side metal part right here. The other end of the filament comes down here and connects to this other post. And that connects down here to the bottom. Okay, so if I connect a battery to these two points, it's the same as connecting the battery to the wire and it glows. Okay, it would be the, and I'm going to light this up for you just to show you they can do it. It would be the, exactly the same as if I take this battery and I take this wire and connect the two ends, which you probably shouldn't do, okay? Well, you can do it for a little bit. The wire will get hot because current runs through the wire and that makes it get hot. It won't glow. But if you could get it with enough current, it would glow. And that's what's happening with this. This is the same thing, okay? This has uh, the sides, the same side. It's got the little tip on the end, that black part in there. That's an insulator that, that separates these two. So let's connect these. So I want to connect one end of the battery to the tip and one to the side. Now I can do that with one wire. Here's a trick. It helps if you have more than one hand, but here I am. So I'm gonna put the battery on the, on the wire. I'm gonna hold the, uh, the side of the light bulb on that little nub. So now the side of the battery is touching that. And then I'm gonna touch the tip to the light bulb. I'll do it more than once so you can see. So it's lit up. Okay, so if, if you want to see what I'm doing, maybe if I move my hand right here. Okay, so now you can see that I'm touching. Cool, huh? Okay, now some questions were, does it matter what kind of light bulb? Well, it kind of does, okay? Uh, does it matter what kind of wire? So let's talk about the wires, but first let me, I told you I would do this. So let's light this up. So if I connect the 9 volt battery to this, this is meant to hook into an uh, outlet, and so it's going to have a lot of current going through it. So I actually can, cannot light it up with that D cell battery. However, I can light it up with this. So this is two 9 volt batteries hooked together. So this, if I connect from here to there, it's actually 18 volts. So I'm going to take these clip wires, which I'll show you in just a second. And I'm going to take this. Okay. Now I just want to hold one end to each of the connections down here. I'm going to hold one to the side. And then I'm going to touch the other one right here. And that, nothing happened. Isn't that awesome? I got it to work. Huh. It was working. Well. Hmm. well, if you get enough current in there, you can get it to slightly glow. Uh, this one's just not wanting to play right now. Maybe I might have broken it. No? Okay, well, I'm sorry. If you're disappointed, it was glowing a little bit. You just have to use your imagination. Okay. So let's look at the different kind of wires, and here I have my first kind. These are really nice. These are uh, alligator clip wires. So they're uh, plastic insulation with little clips on the end so you can clip onto things. It doesn't really help here, um, but because now you, you'd have to hold these metal parts to the metal there, and then you could touch these two things to the bulb. Now, uh, there's a couple things that can help me with this, and you'll probably see these too. Here is a battery holder. If I put the battery in the battery holder, then it has metal connecting to the tip and to the bottom, and then I can just connect to the metal. So I can use these and clip that on, and I can clip this on. And then I can now touch the side and the bottom. 
It's not working. You know, I have a feeling like one of these wires is bad. That's why that, that wasn't working. Let's try a different wire. And this is a problem. No, no, let me try and change in this wire because I did use that other black one before. Wires can go bad. They can break on the inside where you can't see them and so that they don't make a connection and that's that's no fun. No? Hmm. Okay, well, that's weird. Another thing. Sometimes these get a little corroded. I feel really embarrassed that it's not lighting up. There it goes. Okay. Now, there's another trick. And then instead of holding the light bulb, you may have one of these. And see, this is a light bulb holder. If I screw this in, now, screw it all the way down. The bottom of the bulb touches this metal piece, and the side of the bulb touches that, so I can just clip these on. So I can clip that there. And that close. Okay, now there's another, uh, I want to have this out. Let me show you another trick. I like this. If you don't have a battery holder, I really like this trick. Let's see. Where did I put it? I thought I had, okay, here's one over here. Here is a small neodymium magnet. Uh, they do conduct electricity, and they do stick to the battery. So if I put one of those to both ends, I love this trick. Then I can just connect the wires and turn it on. Isn't that awesome? Yeah, that is. Okay. Okay, now let's look at a couple, another one more wire. Actually, two more wires. This is another wire that you might have. This is just your normal uh, wire that has insulation on it so if you want to use this you need to you need to cut it uh i'm using my official macgyver season one knife the scissors on here are the best where are the scissors okay so if i cut this and then you need to expose the copper in there so if i just don't cut but like circle around and then kind of pull it off. This is stripping the wire. It can be kind of t tricky. There you go. Check that out. Now I can connect that to the battery and that to the bulb. Okay, you do that on both ends. You cannot connect through the rubber. Here's another kind of wire that you may see. This is called magnet wire. So this is different than this copper wire. Let's see if you can see the difference. This one up here is just plain copper. This one is copper, but it has this enamel coating on it. And the reason it has that so that you can wrap it in a coil and it'll make the current go in a coil because it's got an insulation on it. So if you want to use this, you have to actually shave off that coating. So watch. Do you see how it's more copper looking and it's not enamel? And so that's magnet wire. You can use that too. Make sure you shape that off. Okay, what next? Let's look at some other, other light bulbs. So if you take a look at this light bulb really close, which light bulbs will work? Let me put them in here, my little holder. Take a look at the side. This one says 31. I think that's 3.1 maybe, but they have a voltage rating, so you gotta look at the voltage rating. This one is a little bit longer. There, this one says 2.5 volts, right there. 2.5 volts. So this is a 1.5 volt battery, so it will work, okay? It's brightest at 2.5 volts. Here's another one. This one says 2.5. This is a got a weird little uh, lens on the end of it, 2.5. And then here, this one doesn't have a screw side. This is a different kind of flashlight. 
but it is also 2.5. Now look at this one. I put it in the holder so you would tell the difference. This one says 12. So if I hook this one up, this one has a holder I can use. So this just has uh, the same screw and base. One wire goes to each end. And if I do this, it's not going to light up. Current will go through it. It's just not enough to make it light. Okay. So it's not lit. If I use one end of my 9-volt uh, battery, it will be 9 volts. It should be close enough to get it to light. Let's see. So I'm just going to hold these two things. One wire right here. Okay, that's not, I think I have a dead battery. That's why that didn't work. Well, that would light up, should light up. Okay, let me show you now another kind of light that will not light up. Oh, there's my little magnets, I found them. Okay, oh, this is another kind of battery holder. Uh, so you just take the battery, you put it in there, and then there are two, uh, there should be two copper pieces that go in there. I don't know where mine are, so I actually have some uh, these paper clips. Come on. There. And you can just jam these in the side, like this. And then jam this in the side, make it a little bit bigger so it sticks in there. And then I can connect my wires to the paper clips. And then that works as a battery holder. This is different. This is an LED, okay? So this does not have a filament. This is a different light bulb. Do not use this kind. You're not, you might break it, but they're not very expensive. If you do want to light this, these take a particular voltage and a particular direction. So if you look right here, there's two legs, and this one's a little bit longer. That one has to go on the positive side of the battery and not the negative side. If I take a small button cell, this is actually three volts, which is too much. Okay, but the current won't be so much that it won't light. I can actually put the positive end on the positive side and the negative on the negative side, and watch this. Nothing happened. Isn't that amazing? Hmm. That's weird. Let's try this other bulb. I thought for sure it would work. I used these. Hmm. Okay, I'm not sure why that's not working, but just trust me on that one. One more thing. This. This is a flashlight. It's exactly the same thing. So if I turn on the flashlight, okay, how's this work? So let's open it up. Here you see a metal piece right there and a metal piece right there. This is connected to the side of the bulb and this is the bottom of the bulb. You could take that apart and see that, okay? And inside I have two batteries. So if you look down in there, there's a coil and then there's a piece of wire coming up on the side, okay? This, when I push the switch, it pushes that wire up and that wire connects to the side of this and completes the circuit and it turns the flashlight on. So, so the flashlight is the same thing as your basic uh, battery and the bulb. Okay, that was longer than I expected, but hopefully you liked it.